Is that what you went with? I'm going with freaking cold. It's cold. <laughs> it is cold. Minnesota called for the fair catch. They'll set up shop at the 25 yard line. Nathan Kelly Manis making his second career start. Last week threw for 137 yards. Of course, to his right, Mo Ibrahim, the best running backs in the country. Kelly Manis back to pass, flushed. Out near the 30 yard line is going to be written down just short of the 30. Bring up second down and six. Let's bring in Elise Menneker down to the sideline. So, what does that tell you about him? Also, we can go with a couple of nicknames the Greek Freak or the Greek Gopher, Jeff. That's from Milwaukee. You can appreciate that. Yeah, I think Greek Gopher, since he's in Minneapolis, I think Giannis Tentacumbo's got uh, the Greek Freak taken pretty nicely down there in Milwaukee. Team that's converted better than 56% of their third downs all season long. Golden Gophers. Kelly Manis going to the sideline. A lot of contact. No flag. And Northwestern forces a three and out of the opening possession. Well, they went against their best corner and Cam Mitchell on the outside. Mitchell was right. He was all over it. He was on the top side, never got the receiver, never got on top of him, and so he just ran past it. They got tangled a little bit, but there was nothing there. Daniel Jackson, the intended receiver, had five catches for 88 yards last week in Lincoln. Donnie Navarro back to receive for the Wildcats. Crawford gets it away. Navarro calls for the fair catch. Northwestern gets the ball for the first time. P.J. Fleck thinks he might be his defensive coordinator whenever his football career is finished. Sullivan flushed out to his right, looking for help, not finding any. He's going to be ripped down after a gain of maybe two onto the 40-yard line. That time was excellent coverage down the field to force him to run. And off to Hall up the middle, very minimal gain. Maybe two on the play as Brendan Sullivan, the quarterback for Northwestern, is making his fourth start of his career. Career high 55 yards on the ground for Brendan Sullivan. Pressure from the outside. Sullivan steps up looking for help and he's brought down. Terrell Smith was there. He had the initial pressure and he makes the tackle. You can watch Lindenberg also 45. This guy's made a difference on this defense. Quentin Redding back to receive this punt. Luke Akers hung it up there pretty good and back to back three and outs for both offenses. Muller on the other side is one who's going to have to make a lot of adjustments. They're still going to have to start with Ibrahim uh, getting him on first down. They live for first down. Okay, Ekman is back to pass. He's got somebody on the outside but too tall for his intended receiver. He was trying to go for Dalen Wright. A.J. Hampton. Well, I tell you, Wildcats are happy to have Hampton back. He's one of their best corners. Here goes to Ibrahim. He's met at the point of attack. Maybe got back to the line of scrimmage. This is exactly Jeff where they don't want to be. Good initial stop that time from Mac Uline, who's making his first career start for Northwestern with Bryce Gallagher out for the Wildcats. Kaliak Manis has to step up, avoids the pressure, and he throws it out of bounds. And another three and out from this Northwestern defense. Yeah, outstanding defensive play. But we've got a guy down back there. That's not good for Northwestern. Is Jalen Pate able to get off the field with some assistance from the training staff? They have been bit by the injury bug maybe more than anybody in this conference this year. Crawford kicks it away. Check up near the 40 yard line. And Northwestern is going on offense. <laughs> uh, well, here we go. And there he is. And there he goes down. Hall gets it. Terrell Smith makes the tackle in the backfield. Let's check in with Elise. Thank you so much, Elise. A 21 to 7 loss against the Buckeyes in Evanston last week. Going down the middle, taking a shot, and it's caught. That's Marshall Lang who makes the reception, the tight end for Northwestern. You see Tyler Newbin right there on that coverage. He got on top of Newbin. That's a huge play for Northwestern. And again, somebody's down again. That is Dom D'Antonio who is down on the field. 
Sometimes left guard, sometimes backup center, sometimes jumble package tight end. D'Antonio is down right now, uh, being attended to by the Northwestern training staff after that gain of 37 from the 25 yard line. Hall gets the carry, trying to find his way some space. He picks up two on first down. Motion man Malik Washington. Trying to set up the screen. They've got Hall with blockers in front of him past the 20 near the 15 yard line, third and short for Northwestern. And off to Hall right up the middle near the 15 yard line. Going to depend on the spot. Uh, he's short by about a half a yard, maybe a yard. They got penetration on that offensive line. Better than 50% on fourth down this year, Northwestern. Oh, Jimbo package in there. Hole not backwards, and the Gophers stand on fourth down. Such great efforts from so many individuals on the defensive line there. Abraham is in the freeze past the 30 yard line. First first down of the game. First positive yards for Minnesota's offense. And a couple of great running backs in this conference, to say the least. Kaliak Mann is out to the outside. It's one of his favorite targets since the tight end Span Ford. Span Ford got drilled. And he's down. Text messages are flying in right now. <laughs> Galiak Manis hands it off. Ibrahim. Oh, that's tough running. Another good first down from Ibrahim. Jeff, he just stuck his foot in the ground and hit another level, right? Nothing in his first couple of carries. Good for 16 in his last couple of runs. Back to pass. He's got his man to the outside, Daniel Jackson. A couple of yards short of the first down, but a good gain on first. That's smart. And they, so they're sitting off. They're going to play off in coverage. Jackson just goes and gets seven or eight yards. Sets up second and two, and that's, that's where they like to be. Ibrahim gets it again. Avoids one tackle. Loose to the 35 yard line. Mercery was downfield 10 yards. And so, had he known, I don't think he really believed. Watch 69 down here at the bottom of your screen. So he gets rid of the corner, and he doesn't really know that Ibrahim's right behind him, or he would have been able to block that safety, and Ibrahim has an even more chance to go. Aiden Hubbard came in, saved a potential touchdown. Ibrahim really starting to get it going now as Trey Potts checks in next to Kaliak Manis. Potts gets it on first down and he's going to drag a couple of tacklers ahead. This is this is Minnesota football right here. All right. Here you go. Potts gets it again left side wide open. He's near the 10 yard line and they are just gashing through that offensive line on the left side. Yeah, so if you're looking at it at home, all this is, this is called a mid zone. Really, it used to be called stretch play. All they're getting, they're trying to get you to run, right? Everybody moving in the same, in the same area, and then they just push you. Start moving, they just push you. And once he sees a gap that's caused inside by, they either cut him, or the, or the defender can't get off the block, you just take advantage of it. Potts does just that. Center John Michael Schmitz clearing the way there for Potts. Ibrahim back in there. Ibrahim gets it going over that left side again and he's near the five yard line. Starting to see that offensive line gets a push. Yeah, they're just starting to grind on it. And Ibrahim again. Oh, that was wide open touchdown Gophers. Jeff, he saw the blitz coming. He saw the blitz and just hesitated a little bit. He sees them coming. So he's inside, boom, now outside. He lets it develop first. It defines itself, and then he takes advantage of it. Untouched into the end zone, a nine play, 82 yard drive, and a ton of running back action there. Seven of those nine plays were rushes for almost 70 yards, 69 yards. Excellent runner's vision and patience by Ibrahim.
Passes Rodney Smith for second all time in rush yards and a great play on defense by Michael Dixon who read that beautifully off the corner. Carry to the outside. That's Andrew Clare who gets the carry for Northwestern. Dixon in again on the stop. Third down at seven. Sullivan feeling the heat. There's the pass rush you were talking about, Matt. They get home this time. Outstanding. And the way they did it was they brought the extra guy. So they went man to man. And then by having that extra guy, you can bring him on a stunt. And that's what they're doing. So it's a one, two, it's a six man, it's a six man rush. Kick is away. Minnesota's going to have pretty good field position. 35 yard line settles at the 33. He has been a beast for the Gophers here over the last couple of years. And he's free again, finally brought down by Aiden Hubbard after a gain of five. They list him as 5'10. That's a bunch of baloney. He's about 5'8, five, 5'9. Five, he's a powerful kid. Great patience right there. Dragged down after a very minimal gain, if any. Mueller in on the stop. And this offensive line, Matt, nobody's smaller than 6'4". Yeah. Yeah, and they're, they're tall, and they're heavy. They're wide. They're not as physical as you'd like. They're not kind of running that scheme. They're running more of that zone scheme stuff, and so kind of get on an edge of somebody. We have you can hide the, behind them, and that's what he does. Yeah, he's yeah. been so great at that. We're going to flip the field. End of the first quarter. Bryce Williams in the backfield now. Kaliak Manis, who's back to pass. Tries to go over the middle. Missed him. Yeah, the man wide open. That was Michael Brown Stevens, who was streaking across the middle wide open. He was wide open. Yeah, that ball just took off on him. That's why first down is so important for this Minnesota Gopher team. And they're picking up that six yards and seven yards. That's a better place for them to be. Navarro back to punt. Risky return. He's going to be brought down inside his 15 yard line. Great coverage on the punt from the special teams unit from Minnesota. Going deep, Sullivan. He's got a man and incomplete. He was looking for Navarro. He wow. had a step. Yeah, he did. Beat him to the post. Hall gets it on second and ten. Barrels his way forward for three. From the 18. Sullivan to pass. It's Hall, and then he is dropped. Jalen Logan running, stopping Hall before he gets to the first down, brings up another fourth, and another punt coming up for Wildcats. Lindenberg comes up, and then Jalen Redding, he clobbers him. Kick is away. Fair catch called for. 40 yard line is where Minnesota takes over again. Four of them playing, or three of them on Sundays now. Oh, look at <laughs> Ibrahim just lower the boom. That was Devin Turner, the freshman that wore all of that six-year senior. You want to know the most important part that Turner did, though? Got him to the ground. That's the most important thing. Gets it again. Big chunk this time out to the 45-yard line of Northwestern. Ten more for Mo. Plus side of the field. Ibrahim gets it again. Keeps those legs moving. Give him three on that first down carry. Rod Hurd coming down from his safety position to make the stop. To pass, and it's behind his intended receiver. He was looking for right. Had the right guy. It's just, just behind him. It's third and seven now with Bryce Williams in a running back. Well, they come with a blitz. Trying to get home. Passes up. Passes incomplete. And a flag wow. comes in late. Pass interference. Defense number 23. Yeah, Fitz is trying foul. to say that it's over his head. But he, he, it's not uncatchable is what he's trying to say. Yeah, Devin Turner on the pass interference. We'll take a look at it. 
Balls up. Ooh. I don't know. That, maybe it happened before we saw the end of it, but it didn't look like much, did it? Not on that shot. Ibrahim gets it again right side. Another big chunk near a first down. He'll pick up nine. Great stuff, Elise. Thank you. Galeck Manis ready to go. Hands it off to Ibrahim, who powers for it for a first down for the Gophers. Ten from the 22 for Minnesota. Ibrahim again slipped up just past the 15 yard line and he is getting those first down rushes in chunks. Yeah it, again I drew this up a couple of weeks ago. This is we used to call this a stretch play. See how everybody's going to one side. He lets it stretch out. You cut the backside and then he just takes it right up the middle. That was after not doing much in the first two drives. Yeah. Gets it again goes up the middle spinning around. And it looks like they're going to give him the first down. Up to the 12 yard line goes Ibrahim. Special talent that they've got here in Minneapolis. Nine first downs for Minnesota. Again, didn't have any in their first two drives. Ibrahim driven backwards. Jeremiah Lewis came in from the outside to lay the hit, make sure he wasn't going to get any more than the yard. Lewis was there, Metz was there. Nice job. Tenth play of the drive. Kaliak Manis back to pass. He's going to run it. A flag is down as he is out of bounds at about the two yard line. Looks like this one might be coming back. Holding. Defense. Number 24. And against the defender. Penalized half the distance to the goal. Automatic. Yeah, Fitzgerald, first down. who had already had a pass interference, nice. go against him. Hold right there on Jeremiah Lewis, who just made the tackle on the previous play. Let's see what happens with this defense if they don't. Ibrahim gets it, waltzes into the end zone, but a flag comes in. Might have to wait for lucky number 50 for Ibrahim. But we'll see. Holding. Defense. Huh. That happens time. occasionally. You hold the, the offensive player so they can't get to the second level. Trickett puts it through for the extra point. It's 14 0 Gophers. Big Ten Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. When you want an edge in the competitive market, Rocket can. Kessich kicks it away to Evan Hall. Fair catch call for Cam Porter's going to start this drive in the backfield next to Sullivan. Looking for a quick pass. Instead, he runs. Brought down near the 30 yard line. Positive yardage on that first down using his legs. Those two drives just need to get into a little rhythm. They've done that and then some. Sullivan to the outside on the nice. out route. And he's able to get Malik Washington for a first down for Northwestern. Just the second first down of the game for the Wildcats. Empty backfield on first down and 10. Sullivan to pass again. It's Washington. Cuts it up the middle. And a short game, maybe four. Kyle, Kyler Baugh in on the stop. Cam Porter is going to be running the Wildcat right now. Hand off. That was to Malik Washington on the carry. Thomas Rush on the stop. Rush made the tackle. Newbin made the play. See if they come with pressure. No. Blitz coming from the outside. Brought down Beanie Bishop with the sack. They brought the five man rush, just that extra guy. Kick is away. But Redding across the 20 yard line. Play action pass. Able to hit his tight end and hanging on. Oh, what a catch by Span Ford on the back of that Northwestern defender. That's where the Gophers basketball team playing on Monday. And before the play starts, it stops. 
to the snap. The previous play is under review. And they're going to the take a look at that last play with the crowd to see if he had control before he went out of bounds. The hit on the quarterback. Well, that could be it right there. Oh, yeah. oh boy. Yeah. Mac Uline is making his first career start. Yeah, he right leads with his mask. face. Yeah, that's not a good look. <laughs> Up and coming prospect here with Northwestern. It's been determined that there was a personal foul for targeting defense number 37. 15 yard penalty will be added to the end of the play. Automatic first down, number 37 is disqualified. So Uline in his first collegiate start will have an early exit with 4.36 to go in this second quarter. Abraham gets it left side across the 45 yard line up to the 46. Abraham gets it again left side. He's across midfield and out of bounds to the other 45 yard line. I should give him 100. Picked up 128 yards and two scores. He's going to have that and then some. A great pass, but a drop. Dalen Wright had nothing but daylight in front of him. Couldn't hang on to the football. Perfect. They set that up. That's a great call. Ibrahim again gets it. Clark brought him down. See if they bring pressure. And they do. What a pass span forward, made a man miss. Needs another one to miss. Get a flag, flag coming in late. Pass complete to Raymond Span forward. There's a flag on the field. Short. Little block in the back. Offense, number 18. 10 yard penalty. Third down. Yeah. So he sees Span four coming. He knows he has to get a block. He just he gave him a little push there. They're going to call that. They're down an 18. Ibrahim <laughs> just took out that defender, Devin Turner, again, but held on to bring him down. Exactly. I know it looks bad, but it's the right thing to do. Second time it's happened to Turner. Sometimes you got to sacrifice for the good of the team, and that's that's called sacrifice. Offensive line starting to dictate the terms at the point of attack. Crawford trying to pin Northwestern in deep. Navarro there to make the fair catch at the seven yard line. Mo Ibrahim heading into the tunnel with 208 to go in this first half. Who will have the football coming out of halftime. See if they can get something going positively offensively as Washington is there to make the catch. Nice ball thrown by Sullivan, who's down in the end zone. Sullivan, that's a great throw. Because he had somebody bearing right down on him. <laughs> he threw that under heavy pressure and took the hit. You can see he's coming. Gonna come right. Here he comes. Boom. Clean tackle right into his midsection. That was Kyler Baugh. And the ball was right where it had to be, too. I mean, the ball's perfectly thrown back to the inside. Newbin has a chance. Eventually, they'll get it down. Lindenberg finishes him off, but. Washington makes the catch. As they attend to Sullivan, we'll step aside. From the 34 yard line, Holinsky back to pass, lets it fly. He's got Washington again. Slips through. He's down the sideline. He's going to be pushed out of bounds inside the 20 yard line. Right off the bench and a great pass. Yeah, great throw. Great throw. And then Howden does a nice job of taking a good angle to be able to get him there. But Washington comes back to the ball, makes the catch, and here's his speed. But Howden just runs him down to save the tackle, uh, save the touchdown, rather. It's man coverage on the outside, man all the way around. And they are. Inside the red zone, Holinsky, ball fake, fade route. He's looking for Lang. Had the defensive lineman Thomas rush. 141 to play in the second quarter. Two big pass plays to Malik Washington. Playing man again. And a blitz. Holinsky lays it up into the end zone. Nobody home. 
Yeah, he just threw that one away and he threw it out of a lot of pressure. Donnie Navarro on the bottom of your screen. Polinski goes across the middle and it's incomplete. He was trying to find Washington. On the crossing route. 35 yard attempt coming from Adam Stage. Kick is up. And Northwestern has points on the board in this first half. Purdue just, Purdue just keeps on doing things they shouldn't do, right? Flag comes down on the return. Bring the return. Illegal block in the back. Receiving team number. Penalized half the distance to the goal. First and ten. Remember we saw Mo Ibrahim go back into the tunnel on that last Northwestern drive. It's Potts who gets it on this first down to carry. Eight of five as the flurries start to come down here in Minneapolis. Potts going to get it again left side. Good cut. What a big game for Potts. Really nice cut. See how he did the same thing. They do the same thing as Ibrahim does. Pretty drastic in terms of the rush yardage discrepancy. 170 yards on the ground for Minnesota to six for Northwestern. They can get something here early. Completely different game. A big question who's going to come out and play quarterback after Brendan Sullivan took that big hit towards the tail end of the first half. Looks like Ryan Holinsky is going to be coming off the sidelines to start. He led that field goal drive right. to produce some points for Northwestern. So here comes Holinsky. Six rushes for four yards. He had two catches for 10 yards in that first half. Holinsky back to pass, setting up the screen. He's got hole, but he drops the pass. It was sniffed out nicely, though, from Thomas Rush. Yeah, Rush was all over it. Rush is a guy coming into the season you felt like might have his breakout year on that defensive front. He's had a good season, but not that great season. Holinsky back to pass, intercepted. Tyler Newman, right where he's supposed to be. He looked like the intended receiver on that one, Jeff. This you just must have never have seen him because you can see him dropping down right here, right? He's going to go to the left. He's just, he threw it right to him. He must have never seen him. Leak Washington was the intended receiver, but Newman beat him to it. Reading Holinsky's eyes. And now Minnesota deep in Northwestern territory from the 25 yard line. Ibrahim went to the locker room early back on the field. He gets the carry on first down and picks up three. Good zone. That's what they're running. And off again, and Ibrahim goes nowhere. Good defense right there. That was Carr with McLaughlin right in there on the stop as well. Galiak Manis trying to pick up a first down. The Gophers haven't had a first down pickup in this game yet. Back to pass. He dumps it off. Trying to make a man miss. He does it. It's a first down. Great run from Michael Brown Stevens. But a flag comes in late. Holding offense number 69. 10-yard penalty, third down. Three. They're calling it on. Take a look at this hold. Yeah, you're gonna see 69's a left tackle right here. That, to me, that looks like a pretty darn good block. <laughs> Instead of that first down pickup, he got third down. Play clock is down to two, and Potts hurdles around one. He's going to be dragged down from behind inside the 25 yard line. Eddie Tommy Watt, Eddie Barre in on the tackle. First time we've said his name today on defense. Yeah, which is kind of surprising because you have to know where he is when he's lined up on that, uh, on that defensive side. He's one of those guys that's probably their playmaker. This is just good hustle for him coming from the back side. 10 of 11 on the season. And 
now 11 out of 12. He's good from 41. Perfect from 40 plus this year. He's been involved in the run game. Those are some those are some good players. Team that was number three in total defense last year. Let's head down to the sidelines as we check in with Elise on an update with Northwestern. Easier said than done at this point. This defense has been great. Sullivan back to pass. And he's able to connect. He's got Donnie Navarro on that first down catch. Pickup of three. Michael Dixon on the stop. Klinsky made a deep throw earlier to, to Washington, but they haven't really spread this defense out. I mean, yeah, they haven't spread the defense out. That time they were going for the tight end, Duke Olgis. A quick three and out. They got the ball right back. Sullivan sets up the screen. Hull's got it, slips one tackle. He's out just beyond the 30 yard line, but fourth down and five coming up. And this Minnesota defense just swarming all over that football. To the top side to your left, you can see 17 right there getting the pressure. And it's a good job of just attacking the ball carrier. Low line drive kick checks up. Lousy punt. One away from being all by himself as Ibrahim gets loose down the left sideline and into Wildcat territory, dragged down past the 45 yard line. He might have a 200 yard game tonight when it's all he said could. and done. He could. He's, he's on his way. He just. Just got a good feel. Man, this, you just either, oh, what a great stiff arm, too. Right in the face. I hated those guys. Devin Turner has been the recipient of a couple of big blows. That time the, the stiff arm from Ibrahim. But he also, he also got him out of bounds, right? So you saved the touchdown. Five runs for over 10 yards for Ibrahim. He gets another one. Gets ahead for four on first down. Minnesota up by 14. Ibrahim gets it again. He's dropped by Adibare. He brings up a third down and six inside the 40 yard line. And the pass is caught. Up and the ball is loose now. That's a fumble. And it's in Northwestern's hands. A.J. Hampton comes away with the loose ball. And subsequent Dalen bundle. Wright made the catch initially, the was poked out, and Hampton was there to recover it. Well, there's the catch, and he's oh, he hit it right on it. And guess who did it? Turner did it. Turner did a great job. Big Ten Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. When you want an edge in the competitive market, Rocket can. Get right to Hall up the middle. It's Holinsky win in motion. And a five yard gain. Holinsky back to pass. Sullivan had the last possession. Tried to hit Navarro. Pass was too low. And we've already got three players that are not going to be returning from this game for Northwestern. Hits keep on coming. This is Evan Hall right up the gut. He's past the 50 yard line. First big run from Evan Hall, the Minneapolis native. That opened up really quick. 23 yard gain on that third down play and a short throw again incomplete. Walensky, another low throw, but it's caught by Navarro. And still Hall goes left oh, side. Good hit. And a great hit by Minnesota. That was Howden again coming down from his safety position, bringing up a fourth down. Got stuffed on fourth down earlier in the ball game. Hull by himself. Put Navarro in motion. They're going to oh, throw got it. Him. They've got Hull, and he overthrew him. That's Holinsky. He was wide open. 100% on the quarterback. Wide open. Nobody around him. Put a little touch on the ball, and he's, he's still running. Ethan Kaliak Manis in his second career start. He's had a great effort from Ibrahim, who gets it again, goes right up the middle. Picks it right. up seven. It's a very veteran group that PJ Fleck has at the front line, and they have started every single game. It's been the same group every single game. 
cohesiveness is so important. Absolutely. You get on the same page because so much of offensive line play is communication. Help with one side and then get up to the next level. It's amazing the success that this Minnesota team has had on offense. They've yet to convert a third down until now. That's their first one of the game. Impression call. See Potts to the left now. Kaliak Manis back to pass. Delivers a good ball and it's caught. Catch by Daniel Jackson on the barrier inside the 30 yard line. Excellent protection. Really, it was only it was a two man route. There was only one guy to the left side, but look at the protection. Lots of time to throw. Take your time. Ball comes out easy. Mr. Jackson does a nice job here. Watch this. It's going to come late, but the ball's gone. Give to Potts on the right side this time. Tripped up. Rod Hurd came in with the ankle tackle. Play action. And the tight end. Span Ford comes up with a catch. Should have broke. He should have cut back to the inside. There was nothing there. The guy had a chance of overrunning it. They come to safety blitz. Watch. He's got 26 coming inside, 36 car coming inside out. Instead, he just decides to run them over. And they're going to run and get the push from the backside. Nick Caller up. It's going to be close. It's going to be a right foot or a left foot. Oh, we gave it to him. First down. In the red zone now, where they have been so successful all season, Ibrahim. It's near the 10 yard line. Another good gain on first down. Yeah, so he picks up six or seven yards there, and it's just, yeah, you just can't see him all the time. You know, watch this. There are all these big bodies, and this is what a defender sees, and all of a sudden, here he is, right? He's, he's on top of you, and he's a powerful kid. Second down and four. Ibrahim gets it again, tries the right side, up and in after a pickup of three. So third down and one. See the day for Ibrahim, 167 yards on the ground on 32 attempts, and another timeout burned by Northwestern in this third quarter. Minnesota's got a chance right now with 109 to go, and the snow falling. Gonna put it away. Ibrahim's got it, goes up the gut, he's down to the two yard line. Rod Hurd just saved a touchdown. Ball placed on the two yard line. Already two scores for Ibrahim. He gets it again. Trying to reach for it and he's short down to the one yard line. There's Hurd again, making sure Ibrahim doesn't score on that play. It goes nice and low. Make sure you take him out. Does he? Look, Mo Ibrahim, he runs hard and he runs low. And so for you to get down over a leg tackle, you got to get really low. Berg's done that two times in a row here. DJ Fleck telling his team to slow down. They don't have to snap it before the end of the third quarter. We will flip the field. We'll go 99 yards to the other side. PJ Fleck's going to lead the charge as he sprints down to the home end zone. But he's got Ibrahim to his left. Sniffing on the goal line. Ibrahim, he's got his third score of the afternoon. Nice job by that left side of the offensive line. 18 touchdowns on the season, three of them today. 35 rushes for 175. He sees now sixth in Big Ten history with his 51st touchdown. Capped off a 12 play drive. Covered more than seven minutes. The Ibrahim show rolls on. Yeah, this got what you can't teach. Holinsky back in there, quarterback play action pass. Holinsky. Flag down. Flag down again. Pass is caught by Two Jensen Hopper down. Price. Going to pick up a first down, at least for now. Now we've got Holinsky down. Back to the 15-yard line, and Holinsky is in a ton of pain. Plus some laundry on the field.
Northwestern is already see Brendan Sullivan have to leave the game because of injury. He was back for just a little bit. Holinsky now down. He's been out. He missed almost a month earlier this season. Coming in, this is the play where Holinsky got hurt. Kind of got chipped by Evan Hull there. Yeah. And Holinsky, who has had a, a really, really difficult season with the injuries. And Ryan Holinsky still down on the field. Brought the cart out. Ryan Holinsky up onto the cart. Pat Fitzgerald, Ryan, head coach. There were two fouls. Showing his quarterback play. some love as he ends up going back into the tunnel. Holding. Number tw number 14. That penalty is declined. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Number 27 for a low hit on the passer. That penalty was enforced 15 yards from the dead ball spot. It's first and 10. The clock will start on my signal. All right, so a 14-yard gain on the play, plus the 15 from the roughing the passer. Puts the ball on the 46 with Evan Hull to the right of Carl Richardson, who's in the ball game. Hull gets it over the left side. Humble. And the ball is out. Another safety is down. They say down on the play. Down by contact, so no fumble. And time called by Minnesota. Didn't have the personnel out there that they wanted. Richardson on a second down and six. Junior out of Salinas, California. Give to Hull over the left side. He's brought down by Lindenberg. One for nine on third down for Northwestern. Head off to Hull, and he's got enough for a first down. Back to pass Richardson down the middle. Missed him. Had a shot. He had his tight end Lang. Let him too much. Sorry, Moran was kind of matching him, and he got on top. He had an open receiver, but he just missed him. Flag on the play. Number 77. 10 yard penalty. Peter Skaronski. Richardson. Able to get his receiver out of the backfield. We've been talking about Cody Lindenberg a bunch, and for more on him, let's check in with Elise. Richardson back to pass again, deflected. That was Rush who got his hand up there to tip the ball out of bounds. Navarro, the intended target. Playing in motion, Richardson. Back to pass. Flushed out to the right. And he's short. He was trying to go to Marshall Lang. Fourth and 14. Yeah, and yeah, they're going to drop eight and rush three. And P.J. Fleck didn't like what he saw from his defense. You could see Thomas Rush trying to move his defensive line around a little bit. Now fourth and 14. They bring three. Richardson steps up. Tries to get it downfield. <laughs> Washington could not stay in bounds, and again, Minnesota's defense holds on fourth. We got holding over here. Holding. Offense, number 77. The penalty decline. Result of the play. Turnover on downs. Thirty nine yard line. Ibrahim gets another carry over the left side. Pick up of three. Well, snack time down on the sidelines, huh, Elise? <laughs> I'm going to have so many gushers now. When my kids complain about snack time. Gushers it is. Potts goes for the first down and gushers and a jolt cola. We're in business. Potts spins past the 50 yard line. Potts again in the backfield. Again, team that's won two in a row wins against Rutgers and then at Nebraska last week. Great come from behind victory last week after getting shut out in the first yeah, half. Minnesota was 0 for their first six, a three for three since then. This one will depend on the spot. They're going to be close. I think he's going to get it. Yep. Line judge comes in, says move those sticks. Combined four points in those two losses. 
Bryce Williams on the carry, the senior. Tennessee got beat pretty handily by Georgia. Williams on the carry. They smoked somebody today. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting because uh, Wisconsin was completely counted out at the start of the season. There's going to be a first down. Kayak Magnus way more than a first down as well near the 20 yard line. They'll spot him at the 23 where he started to slide. Called his own number, picked up another first down. That's smart. Smart by him. Nobody out there. The guys are covered. Backs are to him. Take off and run. 300 yards on the ground for the Gophers tonight. Head off to Potts. Tried to change directions and tripped up. Jeremiah Lewis on the stop. Zach Evans, the running back to the left. Evans gets the carry. Upended by Carr. Pickup of three. We're on the right side now. And a great carry by Evans. Ibrahim has scored all three touchdowns for Minnesota. Evans gets the carry here, and Evans is in the end zone. The freshman with the score. First career rushing touchdown for Evans. The guys that led the way, the first ones to congratulate him when he gets to the sideline. 31 to 3. Another great defensive output by Minnesota. Into the end zone for a touchback. And Northwestern 424 to go. Full eligible. It was two straight weeks. Enthralled by Wisconsin last week and terrible weather. And then Penn State this week. Incomplete pass. Trying to go for Malik Washington on the outside. Richardson sets up the screen. It's Hull. Convoy in front of him. Hull down the right side. Pass midfield and driven out of bounds. I think Hull's going to get a shot at that next level, and he's going to surprise some people. I think he's going to play. Evan Hull's high school football coach seeing him play his first college game. His family here in town. They're sticking through. The tough weather and the cold conditions and even the score. Richardson sets up shot. Trying for the score there and it's intercepted. Ryan Stapp with the pick. Richardson never saw that corner sinking. Get depth, get depth, no threat in front of you. Keep getting depth. The safety's going to come over as he did. The strap got the pick. Even up three here tonight. As Cole Kramer yeah, took over here. behind center. Let that clock bleed down as much as possible before getting the snap off. They'll give it to Evans again across the 30 yard line. They're playing good football right now. Pick up their seventh win of the year. Winners of three straight for Minnesota. Punt is away. Navarro back to field it. A great open field tackle. Wally. Justin Wally. Yeah. This Minnesota defense played very well today, as did their running game. Fourth quarterback in here for Northwestern. That's Cole Freeman wearing the number seven. Pass deflected. 51 touchdowns for him in that great career here in Minneapolis. First down run from Freeman. He'll be behind the whole thing, or he'll spearhead it, I should say. Freeman again with the rush. Freeman gets the snap. This will be the last play of the game. Freeman. Incomplete pass, and that's going to do it. Boy, an impressive day for the running game for Minnesota. Impressive from the defense, too, holding Northwestern to just three points.